let's talk about high frequency deflection. This means that the radiation effectively bounces off our paint. This is great, but it does mean that it works on both sides. Shielding a whole house or room uh, therefore makes a lot of sense. However, if you're thinking about applying shielding um, that does not result in a box, you should pay close attention to um, the following. If someone shields just one wall against one source of radiation that has their focus, like a smart meter or a mobile phone tower that is nearby, then yes, you would effectively bounce that radiation away from you if you were on the other side of the, uh, other side of the paint. But any radiation beaming into the room from the side that you're in would also be reflected in the paint. And so you could increase your exposure to those, to those sources. It is often a bad idea to shield just one wall in a bedroom because people spend a lot of time um, in the one place near that wall. If you were shielding against an obvious cluster of mobile phone towers, would you improve the situation if you just shielded one wall between you and the sources of radiation? That may be likely. But would you achieve the low levels that we would normally be after? Not only to alleviate a symptom, but to actually create a healthy environment? No, that would be unlikely. Because other sources of radiation are still beaming in from other directions. Especially directional transmitters um, from distant phone towers can be a problem that is not that obvious. They are communicating with that tower that might be close to your home and could use frequencies that are so high that even our professional instrumentation might not be able to pick up. This also brings up the fact that if someone was to shield just one wall, it brings on a responsibility. The situation in a room that is only partially shielded can change dramatically because the radiation sources can increase around you without you knowing. New mobile phone tower being put up or upgraded. So we would be very hesitant in giving advice to shield just one wall. Um, for bedrooms, I certainly don't like to move away from the shield the whole room approach. If you had professional equipment, you could measure to see what the level went down to after one wall, um, a one wall shielding project had been done. Um, but we have to remind people that even our instrumentation has its limit. If you were to shield the whole room, you would be protected properly and against sources uh, from all directions. And with T98 being, super being a superior product, it even protects you against those higher frequencies we can't even measure.